Hey guys, it's old Brookie here. So, uh, us guitar teachers are always trying to get our students to uh, learn and memorize scales. And you might, once you get some scales memorized, you're wondering what's the next step? Uh, in my opinion, we should try to be creative with the, the notes we've learned, the patterns and the keys. So let's say we're doing a C major pentatonic, which is like this. To train your ear, I would recommend adding a chord to that. So that's uh, 8585757578 C chord. That's a start for at least understanding the root and the the key that you're in. You can, uh, let's say we're just going to do the first two strings. That's eight, five, eight, five. So I'm doing some hammer on, pull off, maybe a little vibrato, some slide. pull off slide vibrato it sounds a little bit like uh, music here's another idea with this kind of scale you'll notice you've got eight eight five five to me that screams flat shape You can experiment, take, you know, you're, if you're curious, you might go a little further. Some of those will sound weird, like that's not really in key, but in key would be. So think flat, if you see a flat shape, lay a finger down and you've got it. Let's add one more string. Seven, five on the third string. That's the complete C major pentatonic scale. And I see more flat shapes. that I'm on first I'm on first and second string and second and third strings I see another shape in there here which is the eight and seven on the second and third string I think that sounds pretty cool. Don't forget to stop it, you know, and make rests. So you don't need to play continuously. Make some short phrases like or Let's add a bend. How about second string, eighth fret? And if you forget what you're doing, just go back to your chord. Third string, seventh fret. That's a good one to bend.
fourth string, 5-7. has that southern fried quality. So I'm bending third string, seventh fret, a whole step. Adding 2nd string, 8th fret. That phrase right there. It's, I realize it's pretty obvious, but I don't really hear a lot of my students come in and just like, Hey, Brooke, what's happening? I'd like to hear that. That's a G. A, C, D, C, A, C. G, A, C, D, C, A, C. It's good picking practice. You know, I'm doing alternate picking. sitting here uh, playing and going on and on but I'm just showing you that you can generate a lot of sounds from a simple scale but you've got to find some creativity and uh, some energy and focus and I think you can do it um, don't forget those flat shapes chord once in a while doesn't hurt either. You can try other chords like a C G C C G F A minor G F D minor E minor F G C Just some ideas for C major pentatonic. If you memorize that, uh, you probably need to just get into some blazing lead guitar work. Uh, so I play with a clean sound around the house, but if I'm playing live, I might step on a fuzz and really freak myself out. But uh, playing clean is kind of fun. All right, man. Good luck. I hope you. Yeah. I hope you got a little bit out of that. Uh, take her easy.